Do you have an interview coming soon? Are you worried? How will I face this interview with my stammering problem? If yes, then this video is for you. I am Krithoy Bakchi, a stammering cure specialist at Stammering Cure Center. In this video, I am going to share with you a buffet of techniques and strategies which will help you to speak very fluently in your next interview. These techniques are for everyone, especially for those who haven't yet attended our Stammering Cure course. As I said, this is a buffet. In a buffet, you need not eat all the items. Walk through the entire buffet spread and choose which items will give you the maximum value. Please watch this video till the end and let me know in the comment section which all techniques did you like the most. To avoid information overload, I will be breaking this video into three parts. First, the things you need to do a few days before the interview. Second, the things you need to do on the day of the interview. And third, what you need to do during the interview. In this video, I will be sharing only part 1 of the video, else it will become an hour long video. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Or shall I send the next video by WhatsApp? then please fill up the WhatsApp notification form available in the description section. So let us get started with part 1. Your state of mind has a deep role to play in your stammering. Generally, when you hear about the interview, you tend to lose sleep, you become very anxious, day in and day out, you are getting this thought, that how will I speak in the interview? What if I stammer in the interview? You get nightmares of being rejected, even in broad daylight. This anxiety and negative frame of mind guarantees that you will stammer more in that interview. But if you are very confident, you are hopeful and you are very positive, then the odds are that you are going to speak very confidently and very fluently in that interview. And you will also be amazed that how did I speak well? Creative visualization is an effective way to achieve that positive frame of mind. How to do creative visualization? Close your eyes and visualize that interview situation. Imagine that you are in that interview room. You are sitting in front of the interview panel. You are introducing yourself in a very relaxed yet confident manner. Your breathing is regular, heart rate is normal, speech organs are very relaxed. You have great clarity of thoughts. You are absolutely comfortable in that situation. Whatever question is being asked to you, you are able to answer in a very fluent manner. The interviewers are very happy with your performance and you got the job. Visualize the entire sequence of events from the time you enter the room till the time you get the offer letter. Visualize the entire positive outcome and keep on visualizing this positive outcome 3-4 times a day, every day. I have made an in-depth video on creative visualization for stammering. I have attached the link in the description section. Please go through that video to understand the science behind what I have suggested you to do. If you like this video till now, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon 
and if you have already filled up the whatsapp notification form you will get all our future helpful videos by whatsapp first thing you need to do before anything else is prepare unless you are prepared no video is going to help you prepare your subject matter first get your concepts cleared write down personalized answer for all the common hr questions asked in the interview once you have your personal answers your original answers ready then sit in front of the mirror look into your eyes and act as if you are taking your own interview ask yourself cross questions practice those answers and find out flaws in your resume and also prepare convincing answers for the same stammering is a gap in your thinking and speaking coordination when you practice saying a set of sentences say your introduction again and again and again it enters into your subconscious mind deep into your memory when you have to introduce yourself in the interview you don't really have to think at that time you just have to retrieve it from your memory stammering occurs very little when you retrieve something from your memory the first few minutes of the interview are quite predictable questions like tell me something about yourself about your previous work experience or common hr questions practice these questions so much that you are able to say this subconsciously that way you will not stammer and if you do not stammer during the first few minutes of the interview the chances are that you will not stammer during the entire interview because by then your nerves have calmed you are confident your heart rate has become very relaxed and which is more you are yourself again this technique is very helpful interview is the place where even many fluent speakers end up stammering and fumbling the tension and pressure gets even to the best of candidates someone who has the problem of stammering will then end up stammering even more you tend to go blank you lose your ability to think you feel shortness of breath you begin to sweat your heart beat becomes fast your speech organs become tight and even if you know the answer to the question you are not able to answer at that moment you have experienced this right the part of our brain which is causing this is called the amygdala when you enter the interview room your amygdala perceives the situation to be a threat or an emergency situation and it activates survival mode it takes control over your mind and body and the symptoms that i mentioned are your stress response to that emergency situation the best way to deal with this is to train your amygdala to deal with this situation in an effective manner you can do this by using a technique called eft or emotional freedom technique i have done an in depth video on this topic where i have taught the technique please learn this technique and use it daily till the day of the interview you can use it just before the interview as well and in just 5 minutes all your tension fear nervousness anxiety everything will be reduced and you will feel very calm and confident instantly i like this technique a lot because it gives instant results i have attached a link to this in the description section another effective way to train your brain to handle the stress and the nervousness of the interview 
is by constantly exposing yourself to the stress. Right now, interview is a threat to you. But if you ask your close ones like your parents, your family, your friends, seniors, teachers to take your mock interviews, you are constantly exposing yourself to the stress of the interview and you are performing well in the interview because they are your close ones. That way, when you actually face the interview, your amygdala perceives this situation to this happens everyday situation. That way, it doesn't activate the survival mode, the emergency mode and the stress response mode. That way, what is happening is you are able to speak in a very calm and relaxed manner. You are going to be your normal self. If you have an interview coming up with your dream company, please take up a few unimportant interviews with maybe some small companies or maybe for some petty jobs. That way, you are constantly exposing yourself to the interview situation and on the day of your actual interview with your dream company, it is going to go great. Sleep plays a big role in your stamina. Ensure that you go to bed early the previous few nights. Get enough sleep, be well rested and wake up fresh so that your thinking speaking coordination will be perfect. And when your thinking speaking coordination will be smooth, automatically you will speak very fluently in the interview. There are some people in everybody's life who love to puncture your energy. They keep underestimating you, telling you that you cannot do anything in life. They keep telling, oh you have stammering problem. Why are you wasting their time and your time by giving interviews? You got whom I am referring to, right? Stay away from these people. I call them energy vampires. Stay away from these people for a few days till you have the offer letter in your hand and then show them what you are made of. All the best for your interview. I am sure you will do a fantastic job. This was the end of the part 1 video as to how to not stammer in an interview. Let me know in the comment section which all techniques did you like the most. There are two more parts that is what you need to do on the day of the interview and what you need to do during the interview. If you want the next two videos by WhatsApp not only the next two, all our future videos by WhatsApp. Please fill up the WhatsApp notification form available in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon. Looking forward to cure your stamina.